In this question, it says an object which is two centimeter in size. That means we know the height of the image and height of the image is indicated by H. So I wrote H as two centimeter, which is placed at a distance of 30 centimeter in front of a concave mirror. You know that the object distance is indicated by U and or since object is always placed on the left hand side of the mirror. So it is minus 30 centimeter. That is the object distance. In front of a concave mirror of focal length 15 centimeters. So F is for concave mirror, the focal length is on the left hand side, so it should be minus 15 centimeter. Let me show you why I'm writing the F here as negative. Let's say this be a concave mirror. Let me turn into a mirror first. This is what a concave mirror and uh, let me draw its focal length first. This focal length is this. You know that uh, the focal length of a concave mirror is to the left of the mirror. Say if I take this as the focal length. So it is on the left hand side of the pole and that's why we take F as negative as it is on the left hand side. All distances are measured from the pole of the mirror and from the <clears throat> new Cartesian system we can say that F should be taken as negative. Now, if I read the question further, what it says, it says, at what distance from the mirror should screen be placed? Now, we have to find the screen distance. You should know that only real image is formed on a screen, and therefore, the screen distance is same as the distance of the image. This is what we have to get so as to make a sharp image. So, let's uh, do the first part of the sum, and we have to find out f. Now we can see that in order to get F, we can use this mirror formula because for using this, we need F, which we have for U also we have, we have to get V. So I'm going to apply this mirror formula. So it says one over F. So I'm replacing F with its value. F is minus 15 centimeter. So I'll write minus in the numerator and 15 over here is equal to one over U. So U is minus 30. I'm writing minus in the numerator, minus 1 over 30 plus 1 over V, and V is what we have to get. Now, what I'm going to do next in the next step, I'm transposing this value to the left, so it will come as positive. So it will become positive 1 over 30 minus 1 over 15 is equal to 1 over V. The LCM clearly is 30, 31 times, so 1 into 1 is 1. 15 2 times is 30, so 2 into 1 is 2, is, is equal to 1 over V. Now we get minus 1 over 30 is equal to 1 over V, and therefore by cross multiplication, if we do cross multiplication, we'll get V as minus 30 centimeter. Now the negative sign here indicates that the image formed is a real and inverted, and it should be to, on the same side of the object. So the image has to be a real and inverted. As you can see here, I've made a real and inverted image. So this is at a distance of 30 centimeter. Now, this is the first part of the sum that we have to get. We got V. Now, later on, it says what will be the nature and the size of the image. So nature, as I said, it is uh, minus. So it will be a real and inverted. It should be a real and inverted. The nature. Now further it say they are asking for the size of the image. So we'll be using this relation of magnification that is H dash over H is equal to minus V over U. That will give us the value of H that is the, sorry, H dash, which is the size of the image. So if I use this relation, I can replace this uh, H with its value, which is two centimeter. And there is a minus sign for the formula minus and replacing V with minus 30 here, that divided by U, and U is minus 30 again. So what do we get here? By simplification, H dash over 2 is equal to minus of minus, that is 30 over th minus 30. If I can, if I reduce it further, this get cancelled. And by cross multiplication, we get H dash as minus 2 centimeter. So we get the value of H dash also which is minus two centimeter. So minus indicating that is inverted. So we can see that uh, 
we can even access that if f is minus 15 and the object is placed twice the distance of focal length, twice the distance of focal length, therefore, the object must be placed at C. So this is nothing but C or you may say it is 2F and you know that in such a case, the object and the image are equal in length and that is what we have got here. You can see that the object distance is also two centimeters, sorry, image distance as well as object distance both are two centimeter each. Anyway, we have to find uh, the image that we have uh, find the image distance and for drawing a ray diagram, you can use this one. You can uh, draw the ray diagram. Let me draw it once again. So first you will place the object here. Say if you place the object like this, what you need to draw is first you have to draw a line parallel to principal axis that strikes the mirror and after reflection, it should pass through the focus. So pass through the focus. And the second ray, what you can do is to draw a ray passing through the focus and make it reflect so that it becomes parallel to the principal axis. And wherever they meet, is the image will be formed over there. So the image will be formed over here. You can use this diagram to show that the image is formed over here. Let's say this is the this is the image distance. This is the height of the image. So the diagram part is this. Then you have to do some arrow indicating the direction. This is the reflected ray. And this is the reflected ray. This is the ray diagram involved in this particular question in this case.